five good reasons to visit the city of Trieste. The first reason is the view. You can see the city from high, you can see the seaside, you can see the port, you can see the marinas, you can see the houses which are built very beautiful on the mountain. Reason number two. All the buildings were uh, built in, uh, on this versant of the mountain. So you're going to find lots of hills and lots of uh, valleys. So uh, walking in the city actually is good for your health. It's very good for your health. Reason number three, architecture. But I don't know, I think this is a touristic tram. And if you following the line, I'm gonna go uphill somewhere, maybe to visit something. I don't know, this is the first time when I see this. Even if it's uh, not the first time when I'm coming to Trieste. Looks very interesting. I'm not sure if this tram is working, but it would be a very nice idea for uh, visiting the city with such a middle of transportation. The city's architecture is astonishing and it's looking a bit like Romania because a part of Romania, the Western Romania, was under the Austrian Empire too. So the buildings are very much alike and uh, I visited uh, the city of Arad, for example. The buildings are, are uh, very, pretty much the same as here and um, I don't know, maybe that's why I, I love the city. It's very beautiful and the architecture is astonishing. Being a border city, many nationalities find prosperity here. Croatians, Slovenians, Italians, Chinese and many other nations. Uh, they establish here their business, their lives. The city is kind of hectic. With lots of noises, traffic jam. It's very different than Venice, for example. But I like it, it's very, very beautiful. The economy of the city, it is uh, based on the fishing, also the uh, uh, nautic construction, they build big ships over here, and uh, tourists of course. Real estate is uh, working very well lately, that's pretty much the richness of the city. short story of the city. The city was inhabited since the 9th or 10th century before Christ and um, they think that the first inhabitants were the Illyrians and after that they came the, the Veneti, the Veneti which was a tribe, the tribe of Veneti and since the year 177 the Romans came here and they ruled the old city of Tergeste. Tergeste of the, was the name of the city in the past and they think the name was given by the uh, Veneti. I really enjoy to be here during the summer because we have no mosquitoes here and uh, you can stay outside in the sun and join it without those fastidious bites which in Venice we have plenty. You could easily be in Austria and Italy in the same time. <laughs> Look what a beautiful plaza behind me. I'm gonna go to visit it a little bit. The only place in the plaza where you can taste a good coffee at only 90 cents. Nice. But be careful. If you drink it inside, you're gonna pay 90 cents. If you drink it here on the terrace, you're gonna pay more, I guess. And it's written over there, Al Banco. This is a nice restaurant here. You can eat only outside at the moment. 
today is 21st of May and it is forbidden to eat inside the restaurant but hey it's a pleasant day and it is worth it to be outside. Wine and drinks. Good wine also we're gonna find here. Very, very good one. And reason number four. You're gonna find many beach resorts over here. Very beautiful with the crystal water and uh, no sand. Rocky, uh, rocky waters over here. That's why it's so clear and nice. Many people are coming here just to enjoy the sun and the sea. I have a friend here which caught a, just caught a fish. Ah, it's good. No, no, it's it? No, no, it's kapata. Kapata? Oh, got loose, man. <laughs> the fish got away. Oh, we I'm so disappointed. Ah, not really. No? Did you, did you, did you, did you get something? Yeah? Did you, did you get something today? Si. Ah, I preso course. qualcosa? Ah, ah. I find something. Ah, si. can you show me? You can make video. It is very beautiful piece wow. in this TST. Wow, very nice. And we have arrived to the number five, which is food. Being a multicultural uh, city, food here must be very uh, good, of course, because you're gonna find many cuisines. Uh, the Croatian, the Slovenian one, the Italian one. And I know a uh, very nice bar here where we can eat traditional food. Okay, so we are inside here. I'm going to show you a little bit what I was talking about. You're going to feel very hungry after you will see everything they have here. Crudo. These pigs were uh, grown uh, in, in, in freedom in the woods. I mean, they are not uh, uh, spend their lives inside of pig farms. Picante. Frizzante. Here we have some porchetta. Homemade porchetta. I really recommend you to come here to eat something like that. I've been here last First year. Try. First try. Yeah. No, no, I, I've been here last year. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know how it tastes already. That's why I just came here. It's very, very yummy. Fresh. And everything is uh, made, made in, many in home, no? I mean, yeah, you, you yeah. made it by yourself, right? Yeah. yeah. I didn't acknowledge this pig before, but look a little bit. A milk pig. Roasted. Looks so awesome. This is how they make the porchetta here. A very simple but yet very genuine sandwich, which you're not going to find in many places around. So I strongly suggest you if you come here to, to, to find a bar and to taste a little bit of this good. I'm gonna give you the bonus reason for why you should visit Trieste. And the sixth reason to visit Trieste, it is the Miramare Castle, which is over there. It was built for Archduke Ferdinand uh, and um, I heard it is very beautiful. It is the first time when I came here and uh, let's see what you get. Hi guys. Hi. Superheroes.
fantastic Austrian residence, 19th century castle on the cliffs of Trieste with beautiful gardens and water fountains. Roses, yes, roses, amazing. Okay, let's explore a little bit the surroundings to see if we're gonna find any interesting stuff. Well, it wasn't bad to be a uh, 19th century royalty, Austrian royalty. You had your own castle here, with your own view. Oh, <laughs> the water is splashing, the sea is angry, my friend. You break the line, I'm falling for you. you it looks like the Archduke uh, was a uh, Egypt fan, and he built himself a sphinx over here. What a nice view, my friends here, but it's kind of chilly because it's windy. Even if it is hot outside, down there, up here it's very, very cold. So uh, I put my hood on and I'm cooking a time lapse for you. As you can see, I set up my camera. Please subscribe to my channel for more beautiful videos. Hit the like button, comment and please share to sustain our channel and to help us to make more beautiful videos. And until the next time, I wish you all the best. Stay safe. Reason number four, beaches. Beaches for going to the beach, right? Don't <laughs> misinterpret this. So uh, you're gonna find lots of beaches over here. <laughs> and until the next time, I wish you. I wish you. I wish you. I wish you. <laughs>